All right, so this is unit 103 at Nalu ground floor. You're in the living room. Uh, they did somewhat smooth the ceiling, which is nice. They smoothed the wall. Uh, the floors are a regular 12-12 tile. The other ones are a little more upgraded. That's your view. You're looking straight out. It's a garden view. So from in the unit in the living room, you're going to look straight across to the laundry area, the infrastructure of um, Hale Palhana and their board and kayak storage area. You step out on the lanai, which is not tiled, it's a concrete lanai, and then you do look straight out to the ocean, and that's very lovely, and across the pool. But your ground floor, which some people like, you don't have to go out and walk down the hallway upstairs and find your way to the stairway and then get to the pool coming down via elevator. So that is the view. And you do get some reasonable ocean view. But this is your experience here from in your unit. Okay, we look back in towards the kitchen. It's some kind of a stone counter. Looks like a granite or a stone. It's done very light in white. Um, I think this is a lot narrower it is than the other one. You can see that if you don't remember, I can tell you it is. They didn't um, redo the cabinets and push them out. So just wide enough for one person to get by here comfortably. They do have a nice soffit for lighting up above. And then you've got your same jealousy and mirror, your tiled floor and the range of furnishings. Mirror there and your TV is typically kept on that wall. There's your soffit again. They did do the upgrade of the jalousies and the sliders. It's nice. That was not happening when I was here. You walk into the master, you have this little vanity. It's not granite, it's not cherry, it's an older one. And instead of the soffit above with the recessed lighting, it's just a fixture on the wall. Uh, these people, though, as I mentioned upstairs, you could do, did really nice mirrored slider here on the closet. So that reflects everything and makes it feel wider. And then here, I think they had a choice of solid lower level glass and then just, and jalousies up above. I think the other one had jalousies all the way to the bottom, but I may be forgetting. Walls are all smooth, that's a good thing and um, furniture and bedding in the master, king size. Uh, kind of a Berber carpet, looking a little older. And then mirror on the north wall, looking back, so forth. And you do get a little bit of a sense of view from here, looking straight out. So if you're lying at the right spot in bed, you can't see if there's too much glare at this time of day. But you could have a little ocean view from there. Looking out from the bedroom, very nice garden setting, but you're on the lower level so people can walk by. There's your mirrors and your sliders. Your shower, tiled floor, just sheetrock on the lower level here are the walls. And then um, tiled in the shower with a shower curve. Okay, sink in the master, moving out. So you're appliances here, dishwasher and stove next to each other, electric cooktop, and then we're going to move back towards the bedroom two, front door, washer dryer here. They can also do these in a mirror, it's nice, and very similar washer and dryer, tucked in. And then another utility closet here, same as the other one, location. And they have not done any lock off, it's just simply shelves here. And then bathroom number two, uh, again, composite vanity and older wooden cabinets and medicine chest that's mirrored and lighting coming off the wall, no soffit, no recessed lighting. But in this one, they also did the uh, mirrored sliders. It's hard to tell, but that's a mirrored slider. The closet, bathroom here, just enough room for a toilet, and then a shower, which is tile all the way to the ceiling, and down to the shower curb, and 
and then we go from carpet in the second bedroom back to tile in the center. So carpeted second bedroom and very similar with a couple of twin beds and room for a dresser here. And then in this bedroom, as in upstairs, you also have your chalice windows up high, which is nice. So you can keep them open, but not have people looking in. You still get plenty of privacy and the trades can come in. And we look back towards the bathroom and the mirrored slider and back to the living room. And that's it.